Welcome to Tales from West New York. I'm Joe Brown. Joining me this week is Elf on the Shelf because Mick can't make it this week. Um, hopefully next week he has his car. Do you have anything to say? No? Alright. Moving on. Here to do the police blotter. Major news in the news this week on the Kenmore side is worker claims resident flashed him. Wow. If somebody flashed you, uh, hopefully it's a hot looking girl, but if it's a guy, ugh. Seeing you're a guy. Yeah, you don't want to see that type of stuff in the morning or when you're working. Other thing is, it's very cold out. Um, fantasy news in my football. I move on to the next round. Hopefully, I beat this guy, Dak, in the saddle, but hopefully. Um, the next week, hopefully, I move on to the Super Bowl, which would be nice. So, here we are to do the police blotter. Um, Monday, December the 5th, the Tree Main Avenue resident said a van pulled into his driveway and is just sitting there with his lights on. Well, maybe he's at the wrong house. Go out there and see what he wants. Just don't call the cops because somebody's sitting in your driveway. Maybe they're waiting for somebody. An East Hayside Avenue resident uh, reported a person with garbage picking in the area of Marone and East Hayside Avenue. He took a stove washer that was out for pickup. Oh my lord, you're calling because somebody's picking up garbage? Let them. Damn, makes the world a lot cleaner. Eugene Avenue resident reported a snow, snowmobile running next to a house and the fumes are going inside. Yeah, you can't have fumes going inside, but maybe they're getting ready for snow and they're fixing it up. It is getting snowy out there. We didn't get as much snow as they said, but we are going get, to get some snow soon. Tuesday, December 6th, a 710 Avenue resident reported a dog that has been left outside in the freezing rain and has been barking. People, please bring your animal inside. This is not the time of the year to have an animal out there freezing. All animals should be brought inside. If you leave an animal out there and it dies, the police should be able to leave you out there all night in the freezing cold. If they're cold, you're cold, bring them inside. Wednesday, December 7th, at Wabash Avenue, individuals said a resident on the street exposed himself in front and back to him and his employees because he didn't like them doing work for the next door neighbor. Yeah, that's wrong. You shouldn't be exposing yourself or flashing people. Um, there are laws against that. Keep your curtains closed. If you hate that your neighbors get work done, Maybe you should get work done yourself. A Kenmore Avenue resident reported a man pounding on her doors and windows. Well, maybe he had something to say. Ask what he wanted. Thursday, December 8th, a sometime Avenue resident reported that her daughter received several disturbing phone calls overnight. Well, block the person that's calling you, then, yep, report to the cops. An Elmwood Avenue resident reported that his ex-girlfriend is in his car parked in a business parking lot and is causing a disturbance. Yeah, call the cops on that one, they can remove her. Uh, I had a situation once where we had to get keys for a buddy for his car because girlfriend or slash wife stole his car so we had to go get keys made. A man said he witnessed a hit and run on a, of a female driver on Elmwood Avenue near Kemmer Avenue. Yeah, definitely report a hit and run. Most people will try to run and say they didn't hit somebody but yeah. Uh, it's definitely insurance purposes. See if that person was drunk. Most people try to fled because of DUI or something like that. Friday, December 9th, the Washington Avenue resident reported that his work van was broken into sometime during the night. He said the door was locked, broken, and tools were taken. 
Oh. Yeah, you definitely got to report that to cops or you can get insurance policy. Get some extra locks in those vehicles. Um, I knew a guy that he had to have um, extra bolts put into his vehicle for no one could break in. A Victoria Boulevard resident reported that her roommate is yelling and throwing items around in the home because his vehicle is re repossessed. Well, pay your vehicle. If you paid your vehicle, it wouldn't be repossessed. Plain and simple. Victoria Boulevard resident reported that an argument with a man about, about both parties were arguing over getting a cat out of the home. Well, yeah. You have to decide on these things before you enter a roommate agreement with somebody. So, yeah. Before you go into an agreement with somebody living with them, make sure you say, Hey, do you have animals? Oh, you want one? No. I can't. I'm allergic or something like that. A West Hayden Avenue resident reported that her daughter took a, a pack of her cigarettes without permission. Well, ground your daughter. Cops should not be involved in this situation. A Wabash Avenue resident reported that she received a threatening voicemail from someone she believes to be an old friend in the past that she has had troubles with. Block the person. Yeah, it's good that you did call the cops. A Lincoln Boulevard resident said he hired a cleaning service and his wall is now missing. Make sure you double check your apartment. Yep, definitely call the cops. Um, don't hire a cleaning service. Clean the stuff yourself. You can't trust anybody but yourself and your family sometimes. Sunday, December 11th, the Keller Avenue resident reported a group of about seven youths conjure around a white car and a gray Kaz. She said they were noisy and she finds this suspicious. People hang out. Leave kids alone. Right? This is the time of year where people get together and have fun. Um, uh, sledding or stuff like that. Or maybe they're Pokemon hunting. A Tree May Avenue resident reported a dog in the area that has been barking for more than an hour. Bring your dog in after an hour. It's probably too cold. Most dogs want to stay inside and be retired. We had a, a greyhound that just liked to lie around. He'd go outside, pee, and come back and just lie down all day. They like to be retired and just sit around, wait for the master to give him passionate hugs and patting him. So yeah, so definitely bring your animals inside. No animals belong, deserve to be outside, unless they're a wild animal. Well, this is the Police Blotter signing off. I'm Joe Brown. Uh, this is Tales from Western New York. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Um, help on the show. What are you going to say? Nothing? Well, hopefully Mick Blow will be back next week. Um, I think that is our Christmas Eve one. We should do Christmas present exchange. Hopefully Mr. Chris Elliott. I'm going to try to have him come out too. So we will see. Well, this is Joe Brown signing off. Bye.